guys welcome back to another vlog getting a little bit of a late start to this vlog and it's actually sunday and not i usually vlog saturdays but i decided not to vlog yesterday at all i also have monday off tomorrow for martin luther king jr day so i thought it'd be fine to take like one day off this weekend to really like not do anything i just later on i took a nap i just vegged out which was really nice i never really do that or allow myself like a full day to do nothing but it's sunday i went to lunch with my two best friends taylor and maya and then i went to my dad's house to pick up my christmas gifts because this has been back ordered this was ordered in december like the beginning of december and it was back ordered for a very long time and i mean it's the middle of january basically and just finally got to his house it was like a whole thing so i got the la Creuset pot and or the dutch oven and i'm really excited about it i didn't get it in this orange color if you're wondering um i got it in white but it came in this box in orange but i'm so excited i hope this influences me to cook more like homemade things and things from scratch like soups i'm really excited to have it and use it and the reason that i asked for it too was it was on sale for like 150 plus dollars cheaper than the 400 dollars price tag like it was very much marked down so i asked for it for christmas and i'm really grateful and thankful that my dad got it for me took a while for it to come in but i'm so 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 excited looks like this I went to go pick that up from his house and then he also got me some William sonoma dish towels as well which are so handy for when you're cooking cleaning drying things off from the dishwasher when you hand wash things so i needed more of these yeah i wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog and share this because i was so excited about it i really want to make like a homemade soup of some sort like my first dish in it so if it's still on sale i believe there's still some on sale colors at william sonoma and it's on sale on amazon i believe so if you're interested in getting one of these definitely check it out because it's on sale and i don't think they go on sale that often and that's the only time that i would like even think or justify the price so i'm really excited i'll link it down below if you're interested but anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. I'm going to vlog the rest of the day and then vlog tomorrow since I do have it off as well. But yeah, I just wanted to start off the vlog. I'm just like realizing that my hair is really grown out and I'm trying to push it closer to my trip before I get it done. So it's going on, by the time I get it done, it's going to be three months which I usually go every 10, 8 to 10 weeks, and it's now week 10 since I got my hair done, and I'm just trying to push it farther than usual because I have a trip the first week of February, so I'm just trying to push it a little bit so it's closer to the trip, and then it like lasts through the weddings that I have in March, if that makes sense. So we're pushing it. I know it's really grown out and yeah but i'm really excited because i have actually joined the cuts clothing ambassador program and i'm so excited about it and i worked with cuts a couple months ago and i'm so excited to be joining their program and working with them a little bit more consistently and i got sent some of their basics a couple months ago i have been in love with them obsessed wear them non-stop and they're just so easy to style because i i truly love basics that's really what i wear gravitate towards when shopping or buying new clothes because they're so versatile they can go with literally anything dress it up dress it down and that's mainly why i love cuts and i got to pick out a few more things for this month that i'm really excited to share with you guys i know you guys did some of you bought some of their clothing through my code so i really hope you guys are enjoying them as much as i am the first thing that i got is the almost friday tee so excited these are like my favorite types of t-shirts to wear a little bit more casually because they aren't 
fitted to you and you can style this with literally anything and you can make it a little bit more cropped by tucking it into a bralette or just letting it hit you where this shirt hits you. Okay, next I got this slim tee. This is the more fitted version. I also have it in white, which I got last time as well. I loved the fit of this and I wanted it in gray. I actually just did my colors on what like colors look best on me and it's like a free quiz if you're interested in doing it you, i'll uh, leave the link to the color quiz down below but i recently got my colors done and gray is actually on there as one of my colors so it's not the main reason why i got it but i knew that i needed to get a basic tee in this color because it is on my color wheel of colors that look good on me um it's a free quiz so if you're interested in taking it and finding out what colors look best on you definitely click the link down below but um some of the colors that are on my like do not wear or they don't look good on me i still want to wear because it's literally orange and red on there and i love the color orange and red too i feel like looks good on everyone so i'm kind of a little bit bummed about that but gray was on mine and then a lot of like cooler summer colors so lavenders lighter pinks maybe more on the mauve side of pinks royal blues forest greens or like darker greens definitely look good apparently on me so got this gray one i love the fit of this this i feel like you can dress up and dress down it's very versatile so i got this next i got the fitted tee in the full length version in black i got this because i really wanted to be able to wear it to work i feel like i could maybe get away with wearing this to work if it if my um trouser pants hit high enough i'll have to check that out because i do wear high-waisted trouser pants to work so i'm not sure if this length will necessarily work but i know that this length will because it's full length and truly all i wear to work is like basics sweaters um and trouser pants so I'm excited to have this because I really do like the fit of this and I feel like you can dress it up for work and then you can also dress it down on the weekends. You can tuck this into like your bra and make it like cropped in the front. Kind of just very versatile if you do get the full length, like totally wear it to work and you can wear it on the weekends just casually or dress it up as well. This I'm really excited about. This is new to cuts. It's the Almost Friday long sleeve. So this is the same version of the Almost Friday tee, just long sleeve so i'm really excited i got it in black truly love the fit and fabric of the almost friday tee it's literally my favorite so i'm excited to have this by the way all of my sizing is a small i just prefer the way the small fits on me so if that helps with sizing lastly i have been loving sherpas for winter they're really nice to have and i got the sherpa half sit pullover in black and this is a really good material sherpa what i also like about it too is that you can tighten it at the bottom to make it a little bit more fitted and cropped to you they also have a full zip version if you're not into the half or quarter zip version of this pullover as well so that is everything that i got from cuts i hope you guys enjoyed i do have a discount code with them and i will put it on the screen right here and i'll also put it in the description box down below so you guys can use it when you shop thank you again cuts for working with me on today's video i'm so excited to be a part of the ambassador program and i'm so excited to share with all of you guys over the next few months new pieces from cuts and things that i am picking up from them as well so i hope you guys enjoyed Okay, I just ran some errands. I needed to get batteries for this. I got this fabric shaver because I guess just after multiple washes, things just start to get little balls on them. And this I kind of understand. I got this set from Amazon and I love it, but I've never dried it before. It just gets these little like balls on them. So I'm hoping that this fabric shaver helps. And I also have this aloe yoga hoodie and there's like little balls on it as well and some of my work pants like on the front i've had the work pants for like over two years and i wash them and i probably wear them on a weekly basis so 
they have kind of gotten those little bits on them. So I don't know. I'm trying to see if it will work. So I got that off of Amazon to get rid of it because you literally can't, like I was sitting there trying to pull out each piece and it's just not practical. Like I would be sitting here for hours. So I'm gonna do it on this one because this is more affordable than this aloe sweatshirt. So I'm gonna do it on this first. I didn't really look at the instructions, maybe I should have, but I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Oh. It's working. Do you see all that like fuzz right there? It's working. I'm so excited. If you have any, I'll link this down below. If you have any like sweaters or sweatshirts, work pants, anything, and it's starting to get those little fuzzes on them, this is like really working. Thank goodness, because I literally thought I would have to buy a new one because I really like this set. It's one of my favorites. And I'm glad that I can just shave off the fabric and it like actually comes off. got home from the grocery store so I'm gonna do a little haul of what we got we got some more jasmine rice we got these little brioche hamburger buns we're gonna do smash burgers this week for dinner one night Christian got these little rolls for sandwiches this week for lunch English muffins for breakfast we're gonna try this Rayos roasted garlic sauce we love this brand for pasta we're gonna do sandwiches this week for meal prep so we got roast beef and turkey and then we got vermont white cheddar and then yellow american we also got this pepper house gourmets for sandwiches and avocado we got celery because christian got a juicer for christmas and we're gonna make like a celery, cucumber, and lemon green juice. So I'll vlog that, but we got some celery for that. Got grapes. We got this right rice garlic herb. Got some poppies, the cola flavor, and then dog pop. We got fettuccine noodles. We're gonna do fettuccine alfredo tonight with steaks for dinner. We also got rigatoni. Got the food for life bread. This is one of my favorite breads. It's in the frozen section. It's my favorite. Lesser Evil popcorn. Got some French vanilla nut pods for creamer. They were out of my milked cashews Elmhurst milk that I like. So I got the milked walnuts. We're gonna do asparagus with the steaks for dinner. They also didn't have pineapple, so I'm very sad. But I'm gonna switch it up, do raspberries and maybe some blackberries for my yogurt bowls. I'm trying to get more protein in, so I switched to the Chobani Greek yogurt for breakfast. It has like 15 grams of protein in it, so since I'm trying to up that, the coconut yogurt doesn't really have any protein in it at all. So we're gonna try this this week. Bacon for breakfast on the weekends. We got these crescent rolls. I think we're gonna do these tomorrow for breakfast. Cucumber for salmon rice bowls. We're gonna do those this week. And then these cucumbers for the juice. Lemons for the juice and for lemon water. And then a diced onion for the smash burgers that we're gonna do this week. So that's the haul. We're gonna put it all away and then we're gonna start cooking the steaks and the pasta and the asparagus.
Okay, it's later in the day, and now we're gonna use our juicer for the first time. So this recipe is for two juices. I'm not sure the ounce size of them. It's gonna be 10 celery sticks, two cucumbers, and then two lemons, and you should get like two decent size juices. So we're gonna try using our juicer for the first time. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit later. It's five o'clock. Since it's Monday, even though I have it off of work, I'm still trying to keep like the work week routine going of working out after work. So I'm about to go on a walk outside. I usually go downstairs to the apartment gym and just walk on the treadmill and then I come upstairs and I've been doing the form workouts by Sammy Clark. It's an app that you can download on your phone and she literally does the whole entire class with you and she's really motivating and I used to do her during COVID. She used to go live on our Instagram page and then I think within the last like year or two, she created form and she's just really motivating so i went back to her workouts i've tried so many different workout programs and i truly truly love the form workouts at the beginning of this year she added like a pilates mix into the strength workouts so i'm really excited to be doing that i started the 14 day challenge on her app. I started a little bit late because of the sickness that I had. I was sick like all the first week of January, but I'm not doing the 14 days consistently. I'm only doing it on the days that I'm going to be working out. I'm not doing like the challenge of 14 consecutive days. So I'm kind of doing the challenge, but not like 14 days in a row, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be doing that, but I just changed for my walk. I'm wearing this Set Active onesie. I got the pants version recently. I have the short version in black as well. And I actually saved up all of my points on Set Active and they have a rewards program and every dollar that you spend is like some odd amount of points. And if you save up a certain amount of points, you can actually pick out a set of your choosing. So I picked out the onesie, but um, you can totally pick out like a bra and leggings or biker shorts, whatever you prefer. I just really liked the short onesie, so I wanted it in the pants version. So I'm wearing that, and then just this cropped crew neck that I got from Shein, actually. I have it in three colors. I've had this for like three years. It holds up really well if you wash it with all whites, and it was like under $10. <laughs> So I'm wearing that and then some high ankle socks and these Nike sneakers. I also got the AirPods Max for Christmas and I've been really liking working out with them. They're super nice with noise canceling and I got them in the white color but I really have been liking these. It's kind of motivating. It's almost like getting a new workout set. It's motivating for your workouts and music sounds really good through them and so do like YouTube videos if you watch them on the treadmill, even podcasts, walking outside. So I really have been liking these. So I'm gonna wear these on my walk and then bring my little Lululemon Sherpa belt bag. It's kind of cold outside. It feels colder than it says that it is. It says that it's only 66, but it feels colder outside. Here's the workout that I do at home, the form app. There's like weekly schedules. So like today's Monday, it's a 40 minute upper body and abs, but I'm doing the Pilates and strength program and I'm on day four. So this is what I'll be doing today. And she just walks you through the whole entire workout. And I just have been really liking them. So I just wanted to share that. I shared it a few months ago and I think a work week in my life video but I've still been doing it and really enjoying it so I'm gonna go on my walk
Okay, we just cooked dinner. It's jasmine rice, salmon, edamame, cucumber, avocado, sesame seeds. I know this sauce really isn't healthy, but this is the sauce that we put on it. And I don't have to go to a different grocery store to find it. So we put that on it and then I pair mine with these seaweed chips from Trader Joe's. I literally put my retainer in and I don't know why because I knew that I was going to end off this vlog in a second. So please ignore if I have a list, but I'm gonna just going to cover my mouth so you can't see it. I just folded all of our towels, put them all away, prepped my lunch and breakfast and snack for work for tomorrow and I swear that has been such a lifesaver for me in the mornings. It's such a relief too. It saves me so much time in the morning and it makes a huge difference. So highly recommend doing what you can the night before. It really helps in the morning and you can even snooze your alarm or push your alarm back. I don't really believe in snoozing your alarm because I think it makes you more tired, but. And then I did my skincare, brushed my teeth, put my retainer in, but. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog. It's 9.30. So I wanna get in bed and try and go to sleep in the next like 10 or 15 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited that I only have a four day work week and then it'll be the weekend again. So I'll pick up the camera this next weekend. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys when I pick up the camera again. Bye.